walk up and you're gone. Taking me dressing gown. It was that, wasn't it? So I grabbed the first thing. Mm-hmm. So, OK. I'm just making some breakfast, uh, diabetic friendly, of course. I was worried that you'd... So no regrets, then? Even after everything I've done. Fire. As if you have got me for good. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking? Apart from last night, it was amazing. And I saved your life. What are you big show off? Just that I thought this year was going to be my worst and got everything back. All my family and it's perfect. Mm. Kerry is not seeing Kyle. Oh, but she's his family. Mm. And I'm his dad. He stays with me today. He's going nowhere near that psycho. Oh, people make mistakes. If we were in that caravan, she could have killed us. Yeah, but we weren't. Why can't you just give her a second chance? After all, that's what we both want, isn't it? Right, so you're worming your way back in, Willie. So what do you want? A medal? I want what you want. The right woman. They're worth fighting for. What is this, eh? The big father-son chat about women? Well, we are father and son. Both the same. Both thrown away the best thing we ever had. Why won't you fight for Moira? I am. I stayed the night with her at Christmas. Oh, I... And since then, uh... Given her space, aren't I? Oh. She won't know you feel unless you go up there and tell her. All right, so you're the expert now, are you? Well, whatever mistakes you've made, shouldn't I be making them a lot longer? Go and fight for her. Hey, eh? Today. <clears throat> Pies? No, 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 it's January. Everyone's on a diet. It's salad and dust. Oh, we'll be starving. Anyway, one whiff of Marlon's beef gravy and it'll soon be National No Resolutions Day. Ha, <laughs> be going feral on his short crust, won't they? Well, I hope so, for profit's sake. I mean, bait crisps in a tap water ain't gonna do good for the coffers, is it? <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Birthday post! Monday, isn't it? Is it? Don't do birthdays, do I? Since when? Since I'm not four years old and wanting cake and ice cream like you. <laughs> right, surprise birthday party for her it is, then. Big cake, loads of ice cream. She'll want it all. You sure about that? <laughs> no, she's going to hate the whole thing, <laughs> especially if we do a massive sign with 41 on it. I've got to tease her about 40 if she was banged up. And Her Majesty's pleasure ain't big on balloons. Right, well, good luck with it. You going to be back from Manchester in time? Are you going again? Have you got tickets for something? No. Right, so it's uh, just a just a room in Manchester for no reason. Do we need one? Yeah. Can I just have a nice weekend? All right, see you later. When will I learn? Don't drink anything blue. No, anyway, it was our Christmas party, so. Hey, they better come through those deals that they promised. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Just got an appointment later with Eliza. So, uh, this big idea you've had? Hindus. It came to me mid-cocktail last night. We should offer the whole package. Look, I, I'm not meaning to eavesdrop. I mean, that sounds brilliant. And the olive bars at your disposal, of course. Not meaning to offend, but... <sighs> I've never had a good conversation style like that. Last night we were desperate. Well, that... It's a corner shop. It's hardly Hindu happy. You've got shelves of bleach and toilet duck. So I'll change it. Mm. Look, we're good together. One more chance? Our one night was more than enough. Thank you. How much business is that Neanderthal cane going to turn away? Honestly, the state of these accounts, he's still not doing them right. I bet he can't even spell that. Yeah, he's fit, though. Like you never thought about it. Full service in an MOT. You didn't. <gasps> Lady in the Tramp. Oh, which one's the Tramp? Hmm. No talk about Tramps is going to end well for you. <laughs> Chrissy White? How bad? What? Well, he's my son. He's been beaten up and he's fine. OK, well, how are you going to protect him? Now, you listen to me, you stupid man, unless you... 
Unless you want a lawsuit. I want answers. Right, well, get me the prison governor on the phone now. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Shouldn't he be at school? It was desperate to see you. Well, not just him. Uh, Kyle, why don't you go in there and see if you can find one of your old colouring books? Good boy. I've missed you. Kane. No, I have to say this, right? I know you want space. But it's killing me, this. I want us back as a family. No. Kane, there's no us. At Christmas, I made a mistake. We didn't. I was all over the place. I'm still grieving. That's what that night was. No. That was you turning to me. It was just sex. Just physical, something to cope. I'm sorry if you thought it was more. It was. You know it was. I needed comfort with you, anyone. You're my wife. I was your wife when you went off with charity. When you knocked on my door and told me you were leaving with her, I hadn't even buried my daughter. Yeah, but I came back for you. Because I love you. Do you think this is love? You wreck my life, throw me aside, then you, you drag your kids here, use them as a pawn to get to me. I mean, don't you get it? Leave me alone. You don't mean that. Don't tell me what I mean. Now, I do need space. Not for two weeks. For good. For the last time, I want you out of my life. Kyle. Come on, mate. Ah, where's floor cleaner gone? I don't make like that stuff that smells of trees. I, I keep telling it, it's trees I'm treading into the floor, so I don't see point, but... The cleaning products, over by the till now. David, David! The party last night was such a success. I, I thought we'd have some changes. By tearing my shop apart. No, 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 make it more party friendly. Expand. You know, get some other business. Hindus here, maybe? What are you talking about, hens? Oh, I don't want them. All that mess and mopping up. Our cousin Bathsheba lost three teeth and a pint of blood chasing a strip around once. She tripped on his thong and just baby oil and blood. Good money to be made here. From who? From Take a Vow, for example. <laughs> and there we have it, Megan. You are turning my shop into a nightclub to impress Megan. Frank, I'm all for the thrill of the chase, mate, but I don't think she wants to get caught. That's kind of the appeal. <laughs> oh, hard to get. You're not even being friend zoned. I, I mean, you're actually approaching Stalker. Help out an aging Lothario. Allow one last act of desperation and slightly move Beach. Oh, go on then. Are you wasting your time? You do know I could do you guys a really fabulous stag do. What about one of those ones where you learn pop dancing routines? Hmm? Come and see me. Definitely not. Rebecca, I've been trying to phone you. I can't make the business trip tonight. Can you do it on your own? Oh, huh. Cancelled the other day. Sorry, I forgot to say. Oh, no worries then. Um, we'll just arrange another day. Do you want to get a drink? Please don't tell me you organised this weekend away just so he didn't spend the evening with her. She would have to shave her hair, grow some stubble and have some pretty major surgery to look like you. I've made you into a complete paranoid wreck, haven't I, saying they're having an affair? Well, they're not, OK? Just forget I said it. I'm trying to. I know he's not lying to me. Good. Because think of what you two have been through. And anyway... Dingles versus posh totty, Dingles always win, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. I've been filling in at the Demdike Playgroup last couple of weeks. I thought I'd see you both there. Oh, we get really busy over Christmas. Thought you were taking her. Why did you pop down this afternoon? The wheels on the bus are still going round and round. And round? <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying for a puncture. <laughs> oh, thanks, but Eliza's seeing the physio. Oh, nothing bad, I hope. Yeah. Fine. She's fine. Ah, oh, come on, then. <sighs> There's someone else who'd be very welcome at the Playgroup. Oh, yeah, cos we really enjoy playing peekaboo. Oh, let's sit up, let's crawl. I think we've developed past that, haven't we, Mozza? Oh, when he's old enough, he'll run again down the fiver side with our Heath. Hey, he's top scorer at school, you know. Oh, he's got a hell of a kick. Well, takes after his mother. <laughs> we should get going. Got ages, yeah. No, Cathy, she takes after me, you know. She's intellectual. All right. No, she is. She wants to be a vet. Mind you, it's not that long since she wants to be a unicorn, so... <laughs> we should get going now. Beat the traffic. You all right? Fine. I'm all right, look. He does know I've been ill, doesn't he? That's why I told him to run, just because I didn't want him to fall in the water or something. Stay away. My dad told me about the fire. Right, well, look, I made a mistake, I'll admit it, but it's not fair punishing him and keeping him away from us. Do you think I want my son hanging about some drunken slapper, eh? I've changed. Look, I could have died, you know. It'd have been better if you had. Whatever this is about, not in front of him. No, I want my grandson. Not here. The car's coming with us. Away from all this shouting. I'm only shouting because I love him. Tough. You don't get to see him again, ever. There's nothing wrong. I just didn't want to be late for physio, that's all. You never said that she wasn't going to the playgroup? I only missed a few. Eliza needs kids of her own age. <laughs> Eliza, is she OK? <laughs> OK. Is she OK? <laughs> she seems fine. My car doesn't. You stand on your brakes right in front of me. Yeah, to avoid that rabbit, didn't you see it? Oh, not concentrating, were you? Look at my car. I'm sorry. I'll pay. Look, whatever you need, all right? We just need to sort the baby out. Yeah, of course. Of course, make sure she's OK. I don't want any trouble. I've got a mate who might be able to fix it. You know, maybe we could swerve the insurance. Really? Thank you. Let's swap details and I'll see what I can do. Come on. We'll get her checked out at the docks, eh? Then you can tell me what's really wrong. Kane can't do this to you. It's a new personal record. Things were going brilliantly for uh, a couple of hours. And they will again. The universe owes you a break. I mean, the universe don't get on. I tried that cosmic ordering thing once. Do you know when Noel Edmonds was banging on about it and writing on his hand and that? Mm. Only I asked for happiness and get dumped on. Hey, you got me back. Is that what you call being dumped on? <laughs> Don't be daft. Just not going to be that perfect here anymore, is it? Mm. Hi. I know that you're operating at one cell less than amoeba level, but don't turn away my clients. I suggest you listen to me. Yeah. And I suggest you get out. Ooh. It's this full play. She's just leaving. I was just explaining that our business is collapsing because this knuckle-dragging meathead is in charge. In fact, you'd be better off selling your half to me. Did you not hear what I said? You're right. She's just leaving. We've got other things we need to worry about. Come on, I'll catch you up. We didn't get off to the best of starts last time. Rebecca White, why don't you call me a sleeping partner? In the business. The exit's that way. 
Chrissy's had a tough day. Lachlan's been beaten up in prison, and not for the first time. Could you give her a break? Come on, has a heart under all that oil and scowling. Lachlan's not the only one that's gonna get hurt if she ever talks to me like that again. Okay. See? Hen happy. I'm just like it said on those bottles of bleach you hated. Thick, but directable. Um, she's had a bit of an accident. Seems a bit shaken up. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm not interfering, I'm just worried. Um, look, if you, if you want anything, just let me know, OK? He seems genuinely concerned. The doc said Eliza is fine. So how about you? What's wrong? Was it seeing the physio today? We knew that they weren't going to be able to tell us anything. You know, not till she's older. I know. So? Tell me. It's just... hearing Ross and other parents with kids Eliza's age, I can't help comparing what they can do. Every kid is different. But no one else has this. Two years waiting for a verdict on a future. Every physio getting them measured and assessed. Having to work out how worried I have to be. Because she might have a disability. And does the textbook say that means a bad life? Because I don't think she's read it. She's beautiful, I know. Yeah. And she's just a baby. Our baby. <laughs> and we know what her future will be like. She'll be loved. That's enough for now. I just get in a state sometimes. Sorry. Don't overthink it. Sold. Out. How's it going? That's nice. Um, Miss White. Am I in trouble? Can't I treat you to lunch? Call me Bex. Are we... This isn't a, a date or some shizzle. This is just the boss treating the workers. I'll control myself. Enjoy your bye. Right. Uh, excuse me. Hiya. Yeah. Uh, surprise birthday party for charity on Monday. So I want you all here, you know, singing and, and cheering. I'm thoroughly winding her up because she hates anything jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Count me out. I've got a senior citizens group, sorry. What are you lot whispering about? Old folks group. Fancy helping on a visit? Uh, any of them rich with a weak heart? Mm, no, then. <laughs> right, wilds of Mankland, here we come. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Have you been invited to a charity party yet? Yeah, count me in. I love winding people up. Actually, may maybe I can make it then, yeah. We'll see you there then. Oh, hi. Any chance of a chat? Uh, not a bad time. Can't remember my last good one. Mm. Was mine? Best not. You saw how Kane was. I've got to have a clear head to sort him out. Ah, oh, well, I think I know what caused it. Me. Uh, I heard he was coming to say how he felt. I take it he didn't get the answer he wanted. How can I do it to myself? How can I just let him slot back into my life like nothing's happened? For what it's worth, I think he is a good man. What, with a bad side? He has changed. He's calmed down a lot. Back then, people called him a thug. But what I saw was this kid whose mum had left him, raised by a feckless drunk. And all he really wanted was a family. You. And he wrecks both. <laughs> Sounds as if that's hereditary. I'm sorry, Lisa. Here's me banging on. You've hardly had it easy. It's Kyle I've really come to talk about. He's lost so many people. I can't let Kane take another one. If you're asking me to talk to him about Kerry... You're the only one he'll listen to. Yeah. Can we talk? 
Nope. OK, I know Kerry's messed up, but she deserves a second chance. What, to kill us? Does she want a lighter or what? Kyle needs to be around people who love him. Yeah, not some tart who sleeps with Arthur Village. That's my woman you're talking about. Yeah, well, you're the one who took her back. You're pathetic. I'm pathetic? Look at you. Over 40. No home, no woman. You're only Kyle's dad because you slept with a kid. Get out! I wonder why Mario won't have you back. Oh, there you are. I told you not to run off, you giddy kipper. <laughs> You'll be the death of me and your dad. Or uh, Lisa's gone to see Moira. She's going to uh, tell her what a good bloke you are, so... There's still some hope, eh? <laughs> right. Come on, son. Well, the first of your Friday night double bill of Coronation Street is on the way next here on ITV. And later, the soap stars go head-to-head -head when Stephen Mulhern hosts the big soap quiz, Coronation Street versus Emmerdale. That's tonight at 9.